I hope you got that. That was pretty cute. Yeah. Hi, Erin Watkins. I am a volunteer for STAR, I'm a foster for STAR, and I'm also the volunteer coordinator. And this is Freddie. So people think when you are adopting a bird, or rehoming a bird, it's coming from a really bad situation. Sometimes it is, a lot of times it's not. I've had birds come that are extremely loved and treated extremely well their whole lives, but for whatever reason, their owners cannot care for them anymore. A parrot is rehomed an average of seven times in their lives. They are incredibly complex emotionally, physically, and they have incredibly long lifespans. So there's definitely a need for avian rescues. We really look to not just adopt out, but to match make. So to find somebody who is equipped financially, <laughs> mentally, physically, to provide these birds with the longevity and the great homes that they need. And you'll hear stories from bird owners too. Sometimes it is love at first sight. I just had a cockatoo here and she instantly knew these were her people and was instantly happy and at home and it was a great connection, but it's not always like that. So we stay in touch after the adoption as well um, because we know the challenges arise and there's, there's definitely an adjustment period, so we support during that. Unlike a lot of rescues, we are 100% foster based. We do not have a brick and mortar facility or a building, which may you know, pose some challenges because it can be more difficult to facilitate a meeting with the bird. But it's really intentional for us and the benefit is that we look at having a bird in the home as part of the rehabilitation process. So we're not just gonna put a bird in a cage and wait until they're adoptable. We are gonna work with these birds. We're going to assess behavior. We're gonna look for certain markers. It'll help us make sure that the applicant that we pick will be a good match. So STAR is 100% of volunteer and foster base. We have no paid staff whatsoever. And just like a business, we need help with everything. Uh, bookkeepers, event management, marketing, IT. We've got a website. We have databases of, of animals that we have available and people who help us. So we're always looking for help. Um, nobody here works for a paycheck. We all do this around our, our full-time jobs and our, our lives and families and everything else, um, just out of a passion to give back and to, to help save these birds. I think a great place to start would be staravian.org, our website. Um, we've also got a, an amazing social media presence as well if you want to get more information um, just about birds in general or birds that we have available for adoption. You can find us on Instagram, Facebook, all the things, at LinkedIn, just about everywhere. I would advise anybody who maybe isn't experienced with birds but is very interested in owning one one day to volunteer. That's how I started. I started volunteering before I decided to adopt just because I wanted to have that, that baseline and that experience. You can go to our website as well, fill out a volunteer application, and then we will reach out to you and see what skills or uh, interests you have and match you within the organization. <laughs>